It is Nanny Rico who raised him. Very weird. This might be random, but I think you're really attractive and I want to get to know you on a more romantic level. Didn't you also do this to his father? No, Nanny Rico! Why are you so the way you are? Hey, my little peacheroonies. Welcome back to a new video. Hope you guys are feeling peachy. I am feeling very peachy today because we are going to be starting a brand new series. We're actually going to be starting our Star Wars series with the new Journey to Batu Park. Now, I have decided who I'm going to be sending on this park. If you guys caught my live stream, you will also know exactly who I'm sending. But here is the plan for this pack. So we've already had a whitehead buddy. This time we're going to be having a whitehead goodie because Valeria is going to be the sim that I send off to go and join the resistance path. So one of the things I need to go ahead and do is change her aspiration for life. I'm going to give her the uh, hope versus order on the world of the two. There's a growing conflict. She is going to set out to stand with the resistance. So there we go. We have given her that one. I'm also just going to go ahead and change this music lover trait that she currently has to I think I'm gonna give her the good trait since she's joining the good side. Okay, so we've got Valeria, but how about on the dark side? The um first order. I am gonna be sending Kane. Now this makes sense because Kane is the same I always wanted to do the criminal career with. So this is kind of just another version of that. One thing I was also thinking is because we've got like a white head or like white blondie vibe. I know it's silver, but it's kind of similar to blonde. And since uh Seth, who was Kane's father, had uh black hair, I was kind of tempted that maybe we change his appearance to um, having a black haired sim just so that it mixes them up a little bit so you guys maybe let me know what you think about that I'd like the idea that we slowly tweak everybody's appearance a little bit over time I think that would be really fun so I'm gonna change his public enemy to the uh, Star Wars Hope vs. Order so I might keep him on a loner who is socially gifted and hot headed because having the gift of the gab is good if you're being evil as well as good and then finally if you were caught my Twitch stream we went ahead and made our smuggler who is Cecile Solo she's already already a self-assured kleptomaniac uh, active sim. And unlike the other two who are obviously Kane is from San Myshuno and Valeria is from Glimmerbrook, Cecile, I am going to say, has never been to Earth. She has only ever existed in the Star Wars universe. She's only ever lived in space, hence her genetically modified eyes. And she's been kind of a bit of a ruffian, a bit of a smuggler since uh, she was very, very young. She's, she's tough, she's quick-witted, she's strong. And also, um, she dreams of one day stepping foot on Earth. She actually has a tattoo. Let me show you guys. But look, she has a tattoo of the Earth on her back because she wants to one day visit there. So I'm going to go ahead and change her trait to the Star Wars trait, which is the Galactic Privateer. This sim is about, isn't about choosing sides. They're just happy, just mingling with the other smugglers and bouncy hunters on the fringe planet of Batuu. So she's just going to try and earn herself credits. So uh, all of them with their Star Wars trait get this prepared Voyager bonus, which allows them to fill up their needs slightly while traveling traveling, which is great because as you guys know, when Sims are away from home, it's very annoying trying to like, oh, they need a shower, oh, they need a toilet, oh, they need to sleep. So this is going to help out a bunch. And the only thing left to do is to send them all in space. I really wish it played like a little animation of a ship coming and like collecting them and then off they all go. Um, Unfortunately, it doesn't. In fact, the only way you can actually get there is by taking a vacation on the phone and then traveling to the two. So obviously, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Also, um, I have put them all in the same household but for the sake of storytelling we'll pretend that none of them know each other currently so all three of us are gonna head to the new vacation world of the two i'm gonna send them um just a black spire outpost for now just to get settled and let's give this a go don't forget if you guys are enjoying this series please give it a big cheeky thumbs up i think for the first one we're gonna get everybody recruited and started on their initial missions i actually really like the mission element because i'm big into rpgs so this is making me very excited um but then for future episodes we may lean more towards each one to have their own like little episode but here we go pretty cool Welcome to Batu. So we have the different currency called Galactic Credits. And to get started, check your career panel for your first mission to help you get your bearings. Now, wow, okay, so they've all got little, little rig outs on. It's also removed all of their custom content eyes, but don't worry. We will go ahead and add those back on. But everybody's first mission is to pl plan their Batu outfit at the dwelling, freshen up at dwelling and get food from docking Bay 7. So I guess Cecile, um, probably, you know, as a smuggler, she would know this area, but maybe it's her first time being a smuggler in Batu. She's lived in space, but she's never actually been here before. So this is the dwelling. This is where you go and like get all your needs refilled and stuff while you're um, on this base. So why don't we go ahead and get her to change? Well, she's already in a Batu outfit. It actually went ahead and did it when we got there. But I'm going to let them all plan it because I want to give them like an initial outfit. But of course, once they go in their um, individual career paths, we're going to start getting slightly different outfits based on being in the first order, being in the resistance or being a smuggler. So exciting times. And they also unlock outfits as they level up 
as well. I don't know what they all are because I didn't use the cheats to unlock them because I kind of want to discover them as we unlock them with you guys. So I am just going to go ahead and put her eyes back on. Her eyelashes also have not made it across. And we obviously only want to be picking clothes from uh, not custom content. I'm so used to clicking that. We just want it from um, the Jenny Tipper 2 pack. So as of yet, none of it is really um, like, well, I guess actually that is very much first order vibes, right? That is very much first order vibes. I'm kind of thinking these sort of vibes. Oh, wait, this is Scoundrel. Scoundrel, Bandit. Okay, and then these ones, Resistance Specialist. Okay, but this one's Scoundrel and this one is Scoundrel. So one of these two probably would be her first starting outfit. I'm kind of vibing this one because I was initially quite drawn to that. So Valeria gets this one. No, not Valeria. Cecile. Okay, so for Kane. I don't know. These ones seem like so like straight away. Like there's no denying that this person kind of is a bit of you know, a bit of a Brogan. And I don't really like the idea that he's like, like he's already dressing like them before he's been recruited. Um, So I'm gonna at least for now start him off with something a little bit more chill and then we can build up to um like a full on outfit once we're recruited, which isn't yet. Okay, got Kane done. And then nice. finally we have Valeria. So first of all, I'm gonna give her her eyes back. I wonder if she can use her magic to help. That would be kind of cool. So this is probably gonna be your like, yeah, resistance, starting resistance one. Or she could have of this one, but I'm kind of digging this one on her. I think that's really cool. And then white hair is kind of distinctive. So I was thinking for her if she wants to kind of like hide um like any distinctive features for now. I was kind of tempted to give her like one of these little hat options. Also, can you tell her dad was uh, once a vampire? She is not though. You can't be both. You can't be a spellcaster and a vampire. Okay, so while she's been getting changed, it looks like at least yeah. Kane and Valeria have met each other. I'm also trying to work out a story as to why they're all here. Valeria is kind of obvious. I mean, she is skipping school, uh, but she could definitely just be sort of like magic herself to another world. Maybe she's been doing a lot of magic in a room and found some uh, kind of black hole. I'm getting him to do the next bit of their little mission. Kane, I don't know. Maybe he already had this whole criminal um, sort of thing going down on earth and he's like, I want a new challenge. I want a new challenge. So he has spoken to um, Cecile, who is the only one who's actually from space. You know, she kind of, she kind of understands understands the whole space vibes. Let's see what's going on. Have we got any other like alien sims walking around? Because I feel like Vale- uh, Cecile wouldn't be um, like afraid or freaked out by aliens because she's lived in space all her life, but maybe the others would find it kind of weird. So this is Valeria's first time eating space food. All of it sounds kind of weird. I feel like she'd be a little bit freaked out. So she's just gonna grab herself some water. She's like, food here is really weird. Also, if she like can relate to that dude. Kane is talking to Cecile a lot. They've kind of both got tattoos though, so maybe they're finding like a common interest to talk about. Cecile, who's been here a bunch, won't be freaked out, so I'm gonna get her the weirdest sounding one, which has to be fried Endor and Endorian tip yip. Uh, I will get you that. And Kane, who, you know, hasn't been here before, but probably feels less worried about eating some weird space. Poor little monster or animal. Uh, I'm gonna get him to grab himself this Mr. Farian lava roll. So here is how the one that, oh, it looks, it actually looks way more normal than I expected. <sighs> kind of looks like a slice of sweet potato or fish. Okay, less weird than I thought. Let's have a look at yours, Kane. Okay, that has just way too many holes in it and it's freaking me out, but he seems kind of happy with it. And I'm gonna let them go off and do a little bit of an explore. So they need to freshen up at the dwelling before they can complete the first part of their mission. So, and right now she doesn't have any particular reputation with any of the three ranks. So she's not particularly resistant. She's not particularly first order and she's not particularly scoundrel. We will definitely try and make that change though. Also Valeria's principal is calling her the whole time that she's here. She is still a teenager. So yeah, sort of awkward. <laughs> definitely have pulled her out of school for this. Oh, look, we've got another citizen. Another little alien citizen. I feel like um, Cecile should... Oh, she's already speaking to an alien. Perfect. I was going to say she would definitely be wanting to, like, to chat to everybody here, make sure she's getting to know everybody. You know, because she's like a smuggler. You have to know what's going on, and she's not freaked out by aliens, so she will definitely want to try and talk to as many as she can. Okay, so... Valeria's on her next steps. Visit every neighborhood, ask about the resistance um, or first order, and complete a mission for the resistance or the first order. Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and make them go on their separate ways here. I know they have to visit all separately, but let's go ahead and uh, let Valeria first visit the resistance camp. She's like, well, there's this beautiful area over here. Obviously, Glimmerbrook is very foresty and gorgeous. This is probably the bit that reminds her of the most of home. So she's gonna go ahead over here to go and check it out. She actually doesn't even wanna travel with Kane. She doesn't know it. That's what we're saying. They don't know each other, so... Well, they know that they're distantly related. Although not through blood, but still. Okay, so... 
Here is the resistance comp. See, this is so nice and pretty. So nice and pretty. She also has no idea what all this stuff is, but she can scan a bunch of stuff. And that is the way that you kind of like learn a little bit. Oh, look. Can we catch them? Can we catch their little butterflies? <gasps> Straight away, look at her interacting with nature. What an absolute baby. This is why she's perfect for this side of things. She's just a good soul. She's just a good soul. And when I scan stuff, it's gonna try and teach me a little bit about the law. I mean, this looks very broken. It is a gunk droid, which is apparently a little more than a walking battery. They recharge vehicles and machinery directly. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is handy. That is very handy. Jester! What is a jester? I don't even know. Let's go introduce ourselves. And look, we have these like locked cash crates everywhere that you can attempt to override. However, I don't feel like Valeria or Kane would be great at this, but I might give um, Cecile like the ability to do this fairly early on because she is already established as being a smuggler on other planets. So I feel like she should have that ability. Oh, look, she's got the level one clothes on. So she is a sympathizer, but she probably isn't a full resistance person. However, I will still ask about the resistance. I trust you are looking to do some good for the people of Batu. If you speak to a resistance member, ignite the spark and they will share important information with you. When she's already acquiring the Christmas school skill. Well, little baby. Okay, we need to find somebody who's in the resistance. Oh, look, there's a T70X wing. So all the turrets and stuff on the ground are like to help with their um, defense. Oh! <gasps> Ooh, it's the cool girl that I found before. Okay, she's got the cool outfit on. Uh, she is part of the resistance. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and introduce ourselves to her and then we can um, try and ignite the spa. Ooh, uses a signature combat craft of the resistance. The work, This workhorse of a ship is one of the most versatile of the resilience fleet. With enough so move, move, maneuverability to keep up with the TIE fighter. Okay, we actually have this as a, dro um, as a flying remote control drone. If you check the Clara and Ali channel, was it on that channel? We flew these drones around and it was actually kind kind of low-key yeah, mental. We had a TIE fire as well. Oh, oh wow, these guys are like Moving thick as down. thieves already. Belong. Ironic, because you're not actually going to be thieves. <gasps> look, I can share Shibaya. overheard rumors. Oh, <gasps> look at this little, what are you? Oh, you just went under a rock, but you're a cute little Oh, it was like a little mousy thing. V here it says, it depends on who's asking. If you're looking to support the resistance, you're going to need to prove yourself. Try talking to other resistance members about the resistance. Okay, we've got to talk to a few before the let us on. We've got to like prove our worth. Okay. Oh, look at these little scrap piles. Oh, I'm going to search that just because it's here. Um, I'm kind of struggling to find my little resistance peoples. Are you in the resistance? Yes. Okay, we've got... Oh, she's going to speak to her first alien. Dunnison North. Let's go ahead and also ask him. Um, ignite the spark. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, let's try that. We've got some scrap metal as well. Handy, handy, handy. Pleasant conversation. She got on really well. There were so many high fives going on between her and V. <gasps> resistance mission. Leap of faith. I heard you're looking to make a difference here in Batu. I might know a group that could use your help, but I need to make sure your values match up with theirs. Start by observing the first order and then reporting back your findings. We'll talk about getting you an introduction. Oh my gosh. Yes. So have I got my first mission? Oh my gosh. Okay, so your missions appear here as like a job. Talk to first order stormtroopers. Analyze the Thai Echelon, survey first order crates, but then the aspiration is here. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so I guess I need to send her over to the other camp, which is the perfect time to get Kane on his stuff as well. So I'll bring Kane over here as well. So let's head to the first order district, the occupied sector of Batu by first order. Here you can find Lieutenant Agnon, as well as the droid depot if you're looking to acquire your very own droid companion. <gasps> oh my gosh, I want my own droid companion. Oh, and look, V. Moradi is a famous resistance spy <gasps> and she got on really well with us. She liked Valeria from the get-go. That is a good sign. Okay, so this, there's the TIE fighter. There is a TIE fighter. We need to scan that, right? Was it that? Sc analyze the TIE echelon. Okay, so I'm gonna get her to wander over here and just start scanning a few bits and bobs. Meanwhile, um, I'm gonna have Kane. Oh, Kane, who wants to become friends with Cecile. Okay, these two are also already thick as thieves. That's apparently gonna be the word that I use all the time here. So he is headed here because he's heard that, you know, if you already got a little bit of criminal experience under your belt, they're not really criminals though. That's the thing. Technically, the resistance are criminals, but apparently if you want power, this is where you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and speak to... Two. Look, it's like a shell, so you zoom inside, which is kind of cool. Oh, what is your name, though? Do I have to lower the walls to see what your name is? Okay, so this is Lieutenant Agnon. Okay, let's go and ask him what the deal is here. I feel like these guys could get along famously as well. Ooh, meanwhile, Valeria has found that Tyatron is equipped with a shield generator, heavy laser cannons, and advanced sensors programmed to pick up nearby resistance chatter. Better let the resistance know to stay clear of this thing. <gasps> ah, and Kane has found out that joining the First Order is the first step on the path to honor and glory. Have you come to discuss joining our ranks? We have 
have, technically. Ooh, what are you doing? Are you pretending to play with a lightsaber? What? That's so freaking cute. Stop it. Okay, you also look kind of badass, though. You look very badass, in fact. He's also going to say, I like your cool outfit. Oh, and look, you can d discuss suspicious individuals. Hopefully, he doesn't already go ahead and uh, put Paul's zeal in it. Oh, what? He's been questioned already. What? Oh, my gosh. How are you already getting questioned? What? What did she do? Already, he's like, why are you hanging around here so much? Like, you're not actually part of the First Order. Like, leave unless you're going to join us, you know? Okay, so while I get him to speak to all his little stormtroopers, we need to ask about... Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. We need to talk to the stormtroopers as well. Oh, maybe if Kane finds out that you've been talking... sees you talking to a stormtrooper as well, he can go ahead and report you. I mean, you're already here doing it. Okay. Well, this is looking very suspicious. I feel like Kane will definitely be telling on you. Oh, and look, she's already... Oh, she's eating the popcorn. She's slowly... She's going in with the safe food first. But she's slowly starting to get a little bit braver. When... Oh, look, he's a gloomy stormtrooper. MB452. Oh, I really want him to take his mask off so I can see his face. And for our most disturbing turn of events in the whole episode so far, Kane's childhood nanny, who should be dead by now. It is Nanny Rico, who raised him. Very weird. This might be random, but I think you're really attractive and I want to get to know you on a more romantic level. Didn't you also do this to his father? No, Nanny Rico! Why are you so the way you are? Oh, and look, this guy's already asking about wiping out all of the resistance, which would also be Valeria. <laughs> Me more Valeria's getting this poor stormtrooper to like open up about their whole lives and like making thick friends with them all okay and the final thing we need to do is try and scan a supply crate okay let's have a nosy what could a supply crate look like it's probably going to be a bunch of them in here but it would be kind of bait to do yeah right in front of them <gasps> and oh my gosh kane's already got a warning you're gonna have to join them quick or else i think you could be on the first ship back to earth okay you're do oh no uh, a stormtrooper just caught us <gasps> oh no we're doing an id check are we gonna get kicked out <gasps> oh my gosh and we get one and two the stormtroopers are so on it i thought we were friends oh no 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 i think we're okay because she like literally made friends with all of the stormtroopers before okay we're gonna have to find a more low-key crate though there is none <laughs> great however we still need to get kane to join why will <laughs> Can he not join because they're suspicious of him? I don't know. He is basically just not trusted. Bless him. He's tried so hard to join, but he's just too, like, criminal to join the bodies. Like, what even is that? What even is that? He's gonna ask to try and get a mission. Okay, finally! Finally! I'm counting on you to spread the word about our vision of the future of Black Spire Outpost. The citizens must understand that everything we do is for their own good. It is in your best interest to cooperate with us. When you're finished conversing with residents, report back to me. <laughs> yeah. So basically, he's got to go on a propaganda mission. Oh, uh, yeah. First order oh. propaganda and then report back. Wow! So I've got to click on all these poor aliens and spread propaganda to all of them. What? Your first interaction with aliens and it's bullying them, basically, or tricking them into believing that the First Order is good. Hmm, I've never thought about the First Order that way before. No, like, you're... <laughs> because the First Order's not good. It's they're the bodies. I'm pretty open-minded, so I'll hear you out, but normally I don't go for propaganda. Well, he saw right through you, didn't he? Oh, and look, it's all got nighttime vibes. Oh, it actually looks so pretty. Look at the little glows. Oh! Oh, what? Look at these little, like, like clouds. That are like, Oh my gosh, two moons. <gasps> okay, that's really cool. That's really cool. <gasps> Look at these stuff. Oh, it's a different, like, sky map. <gasps> it's so pretty. Okay, he actually doesn't really, like, he's not hang enjoying hanging out with the aliens. It's because he's got the loner trait, but I don't know. Are there resistance? Are there, sorry, the first order kind of anti-alien? No, one of them looks alien-like. I don't know, but he's not enjoying chit-chatting with the aliens, basically. Also, some of the first aliens uh, are not buying it. Oh, well, we've done as we're told, so we're going to go ahead and report back. And I want to check his little reputation. Is he already getting a little bit? Ooh, that gave him... Ooh, it gave him some monies. That's good. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and oh, you're having a text emergency, really? Really? I think we've... Yeah, we've got... Yes, we've got a little bit of first order for Kane. What's his next mission? Or is he not going? Does he have to ask for one every time? I guess when he hits this, like level two in this bit, he'll get new outfits and stuff. So that's cool. So his next mission would be Suspicious Activity on Batu. First order supplies have been tampered with. Oh my gosh, that's Valeria! We need information as to the extent of the resistance involvement. These citizens need to see that there are consequences. <gasps> okay, so that is what
what he's going to be doing next. However, Valeria, I feel like this is... Valeria, who's making friends with everyone? Why are you so sweet? Even people that are in the First Order. I don't know. Maybe you're trying to get information out of them. But you need to go ahead and head back and report back to any Resistance member. Oh, wait. There's Resistance members here. You can report back whilst you're in this world. Because, look, some of them have, like, infiltrated. So this person right here, this alien right here, is a member of the Resistance. That head is the freakiest one for me. Definitely the freakiest one. Ah, uh, we've completed our mission as well, which is money, some reputation. We should be a little bit more towards the, yep, a little bit more to the resistance side. And we can get, ooh, bonus reward. Check out Sims inventory. A data spike. They can be used in control panels and hollow tables in Batu. The allowity of sensitive, sensitive information or even credits. You also got... Oh, these are your records. Wait, where can I use this? Control panel or hollow table? Ooh, what is a hollow table? I, I'm, I'm doubting it's just a table. No, okay, that was, that was always going to be a little bit of a long shot. These are like control panels. This? Or this? <laughs> where is it? Is it you? Is it you? Wait, is it you? It looks like it should be you. It's there, it's there, it's there, it's there. I found it, I found it, I found it, I found it. Okay, so I'm gonna get her to practice slicing. And what did Kane get? Did he get the same thing? No, he just got some scrap metal. Wow, you got screwed over, friend. You just got a lump of metal. Okay, she's gonna try and do it here. Oh, what? She's kind of being sneaky. Oh, she's like hacking. There's a stormtrooper right there. He's looking the wrong way, though. Hack away, my child! Uh-oh, oh, okay, he's looking right at us. He's looking right at us. He's looking right at us. You got caught, you got caught. <gasps> ID check. Oh my gosh, the stormtroopers are so on it. They're actually so on it. She's like, no, I'm not part of the resistance. What are you talking about? Okay, she's fine. She's fine. Because she's made friends with them all. They're all like, that's fine. Okay, I'm actually going to go ahead and switch to Cecile. So, it's late for her, but, you know, smugglers do most of their hard work at nighttime over a little cup of uh, something alcoholic. So I'm going to send her in to here. Kane, I'm going to send you to bed. Actually, you got some energy. Oh, you got energy back because of your tray. Okay. So Kane's coming to get himself a drink. Cecile has come in to ask about the scoundrels because she's like, look, I got smuggling experience. You just need to tell me where to go. Her credits to be made, smugglers and scoundrels will always be there. In fact, you should talk to the guy over there. His name's Hondo. You? No. Where's Hondo? Not you. Hondo! Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, let's go. Oh, what's he drinking? What's he drinking? Beespin Fizz. Okay, we should probably get the same drink so that we look like... I know, if you drink the same drink as people, sometimes they're like, ah. Scoundrels, haha, <laughs> we're pirates and we don't even know what that means. Ask to see missions and I'll be happily to show you what legitimate business business opportunities I have. What's this I see? A fresh face. Care to join me in a game of sabak? It's the only way I know to properly get to know somebody. What have you got to lose? You might even make a new friend. Either way, you get to bask in my good looks for a while. Well, that is all relative, but okay. Where do we go to play this game? Oh, <gasps> play sabak. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see that. Okay, let's see. How do we beat him? Is it like a card game? Okay. Oh, wow. That's, that's a detailed cards. Wow. Okay. So can I like interact with this? Oh, ooh. let's play confidently. I feel like she's more brash than logical. She's like a little bit more more headstrong than she is like sit and wait so we're gonna play keep a close eye on him oh if i see him cheat i should call him out okay i just did a cheat i won him how did i beat him i didn't even call him out for cheating i beat him even though he cheated oh my gosh i got cash for that good game my friend i went easy on you of course uh, i could use some help earning credits of course you'll get a cut too <laughs> Okay, friendo, show me the missions. Okay, so a colleague of his is holding a package for me, but he was called out of town on a business before I could pick it up. There's no way for me to get it without creatively bypassing his security. But don't worry, I wouldn't ask you to break us in into a stranger's home. We're old friends. I mean, oh my gosh, the scoundrels are kind of cheeky as well, to be honest. No. Wait, Valeria has a data spike. So we could always get Valeria to give her ours. Oh, look, Kane wants to be friends with Cecile. Cecile wants to be funny with Kane. I use a bold pickup line on someone as well. Okay, so Valeria's here still kind of struggling to eat the weird food, let's face it. But Cecile spotted the big data spike, like, hanging out of her pocket and just like, oh, just kind of like getting to know her a little bit. Like, getting her all fired up, chit-chatting about her food and something, distracting her with a story. While she's doing that, she's gonna just, you know, we'll return it later. So we'll just, we'll just swipe it for now. No one needs to know, okay? Oh my gosh, I've got a blaster pistol already as well. What? Okay, and then obtain the package for Hondo. Where do I go for this? 
I should go to any... Do I go to his house? Travel to the first order district. Okay. And then... Now I need to obtain this package. When you arrive, there will be a control panel on the wall in front of you. Oh, here! Nice, nice, nice. Oh, and there's no stormtroopers around. So, analyze and slice into the panel. And she can also... Oh, it will use up her data spike. <gasps> okay, maybe we won't be getting this fat to you. Poor little Valeria. I'm sorry. Okay, hopefully no stormtroopers will come by. He's not around at the moment. Please stay that way. No surveillance systems. Okay, which one should I go for? Why don't we try spoofing these access codes? Oh, the stormtrooper was just there. Okay, please stay away. Please stay away. Did that work? <gasps> okay, that did not work. We got a little bit electrocuted. Oh no. Analyze before slicing to reveal the best slicing options. Oh, okay, that's what I did wrong. We know it's not that one. No, I used up my data spike. Oh my gosh, and there's a stormtrooper over there. Be careful. Oh, <gasps> data spike. Okay, I'm gonna buy a bunch because I feel like we're gonna need them. And I can also sneak one back onto Valeria to make up for stealing from her. So let's try this again. Okay, scrambling keys. Ah, oh, now I know. Scrambling keys is the best way to do it. So let's give this a go. And hopefully we won't end up breaking and losing this one. Yes, okay, we're in. So now I can bypass the security. Is this to his house? This is his house right here. So she's gonna go in and get the package. <gasps> okay, she's in. It'd be cool if she, you'd have actually seen her go in instead of just disappearing, but whatever. And she's gonna ride that high for the next three hours. <gasps> okay, she's back. Did you get it? Ooh, Hondo's package. Why can't we go and check it out? I wanna see what's in it. And oh my gosh, I come back to the robot singing. Really? <laughs> Words! I'm Kane Dance into it. Kane has got interesting music taste. Anyway, let's go ahead and deliver our package. Which means we have gone ahead and gotten us. Ooh! Oh my gosh, I've got a, I've got a lightsaber hill. What? And I've gone out got items available to purchase from him as well. I can buy scoundrel gear. What? He's always got a drink in hand this man. Oh, I can buy my date spikes from him now. Okay, nice. But we can go ahead. Oh, swindle for credit as well. And get another scoundrel mission ready for the next episode. Good opportunities. Ooh, which one do I get paid the most for? Business is booming. How would you like to help me out on a legitimate business trip? I don't know if I do. Okay, so we've got our next mission. Valeria needs another mission for the next episode or else uh, she's going to be going to high school. And Kane has to do a shakedown in his next mission as well. I think him and Valeria might start to butt heads, but him and Cecile kind of seem to be uh, thinking about each other quite a lot, which is kind of adorable. And that is the first part of my Star Wars journey in two the two. All three of them are now on their missions. Um, I might focus a little bit more on each, ep each each character for each episode now. Let me know which one you would like me to focus on first. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up. Let me know what you want to see in this series. And I'll see you in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.